A dad gets worried about his stepdaughter crying every day before getting on her school bus, so he bursts into it one day to figure out what's happening. The reason behind it enrages him, and he immediately takes action. Candace was still in her mother Lily's womb when her father abandoned them, claiming he had nothing to do with them. After that, Candace had Lily as her only companion, but things changed when Lily met Derek. Derek fell in love with Lily and Candace embraced them. He became a devoted husband and father and loved Candace so much that nobody believed he was the little girl's stepfather and not her biological dad. Both Lily and Derek were working parents, so they sent Candace to school by bus every day. Lily left for work early as her office was a little far from their house, and it was Derek's duty to drop Candace off at her bus stop before heading to work. One day, Derek was dropping off Candace at her bus stop and noticed she seemed upset. Honey, are you all right? He inquired and concerned. Would you like to discuss something with Daddy? Candace remained silent, but her eyes welled up. Derek noticed that and wondered what was wrong. If there's anything that's bothering you, honey, he continued, remember that Daddy is always here to listen, okay? Candace nodded lightly, then grabbed her backpack and alighted the bus as it arrived. Derek hoped she would be all right, but she wasn't. With time, Derek noticed Candace would cry every day, reluctant to take the bus to school and insisting on driving her. He told Lily about it, but all she said was, You know how much she loves you, Derek. It's because she wants your attention all the time. Kids do such things sometimes to get their parents' attention. Believing Lily was right, Derek didn't give it much thought and sometimes gave in to Candace's request and dropped her off at school. But doing so every day was impossible because he'd have to be in his office on time, and Candace's school was in the opposite direction of his workplace. One morning, Candace began crying again, not wanting to take the bus to school. Derek was really late for a meeting and he yelled at Candace. Stop being so fussy, Candace. There are a lot of kids who take that bus every day, but you're the only one who causes problems. Candace lowered her head, sniffing, but her tears didn't stop. She boarded the bus as soon as it arrived, and Derek felt a pang of guilt now that he had cooled down and understood he shouldn't have been so angry with her. Oh God, why did I have to be so mad? I'll apologize to her when she gets home. He mumbled as he started walking towards his car. But the bus driver's words stopped him in his tracks. You go and sit at the back, you little girl. I don't want to see your face, and yeah, you better follow my orders or get the hell off my bus, he yelled. Candace pleaded with him, teary-eyed, that she had motion sickness and needed to sit in the front. But the bus driver wouldn't budge. You do what I say or you're out, he yelled. Derek turned around and saw the bus gate was about to close. He stormed into the bus before the door closed and froze in place when he saw the driver's face he would never fail to recognize him. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real life stories every day. Now, back to the story. He composed himself and forced a smile on his face. I'm sorry for the trouble, sir, he told the bus driver. I just thought I'd drop my daughter off at school myself, so I'm here to pick her up. Come on, honey, he told Candace, let's go. Derek scooped Candace in his arms and got off the bus. Then he dropped a text to his boss saying he wouldn't be able to make it to the meeting due to an emergency and dropped Candace off at school. After Candace entered the campus, Derek spotted the bus she was supposed to be taking and confronted the bus driver. The children on the bus had already left for their classes by then. Justin, Derek exclaimed emphatically. What were you trying to prove by yelling at Candace? She's a child. I didn't want to cause a ruckus in front of the kids, but this has to stop. Justin laughed. Yo, stepdaddy, why don't you just drop her off at school on your own if you're worried about her? I'm tired of seeing her nasty face every day. I was right to leave her and Lily. I wish she had never been born. She's been getting on my nerves since I started working here. And who the hell do you think you are to yell at her? Why shouldn't I? Justin retorted. She and her mother are such evil omens. After I dated that stupid Lily, my business began to suffer losses. As if that wasn't enough, she wanted to impose her child on me. I'm here today because of them, so I will continue ridiculing that child and exacting my revenge. Do you get that? You're impossible, Justin. Are you even human? Derek was furious and went straight to the school principal to complain about Justin. Luckily, he'd recorded the whole conversation on his phone and submitted it as proof. He told the principal that Justin was Candace's biological father and that he was practically tormenting her, blaming his failed career on her and her mother. It turns out Justin had only been hired a few weeks ago. His business had gone bankrupt and he struggled to get a job elsewhere. 
Don't worry, Mr. Miles, the principal assured Derek. I appreciate you bringing this to our attention. We do not tolerate such behavior in our school, and you can be assured that we will take firm measures against him. To Derek and Candace's relief, Justin was fired from his job, and Candace was no longer terrified to take the bus to school. When Derek shared the whole incident with Lily, she was stunned, feeling horrible for dismissing Candace's behavior as something childish. You have to inform me whenever something is wrong, Candace, Derek explained one day as they walked to the bus stop. Daddy is always here for you, so never keep anything from me, okay? As they arrived at the bus stop and Candace was about to board the bus, she turned around and smiled at Derek. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, Daddy. I was just scared. Thank you and I love you, she added as she waved goodbye. Derek waved back at her and whispered, I love you to her. Candace sat in one of the seats in the front and happily went to school. She had no idea Justin was her biological father, but Derek and Lily decided to tell her when she is old enough to comprehend everything. Although Candace wasn't Derek's blood, he loved her like his own and went above and beyond for her. He was a parent in the real sense. Justin, on the other hand, clearly didn't deserve to be a parent, although he was Candace's birth father.